Hello everybody, welcome. This is Janice Crutchman from St. John the Baptist Dixie Anglican Church and I am here with another Godly Play story this week. Wherever you are watching this from and whenever you are watching this, I'm very glad you could join our circle today. I am usually here with my cat Simon, but he is napping upstairs right now. He may join the circle for the story later on. Well, let's begin as we always do. There was once someone who said such amazing things and who did such wonderful things that people began to follow him. And one day they just had to ask, who are you? And he said, I am the light. Well, the light couldn't stay in just that time, in just that place, with just those people. So the light changed. The light changed so it could be in all times, in all places, and with all people. Where you are today and where I am today. The same light is with us. Well, let's get ready for today's story. Today's story also takes place in the desert, so we need a part of the desert to remind us what that looks like. This is a part of the desert. The desert can be incredibly beautiful, but also incredibly dangerous. When the wind blows, the sand can change shape, and it's easy to get lost. There's not much water and not much grows, so it's hard to find food. In the day, the sun burns so hot, you have to wear lots of clothes to protect your skin. And the wind can blow the sand so sharply on your skin, you have to really protect yourself. At night, it can get so cold, you have to wear lots of clothes to stay warm and safe then, too. This is Jerusalem. These are the walls of Jerusalem. This is the temple. And these are the people of God. The people of God believed that the temple was the only place where they could truly be with God. And they believed that the walls of Jerusalem could protect them from anything. Then the Assyrians came and they fought the people of God. It was very hard. Some people starved. Then the Assyrians went away. Then the Babylonians came, and they did not go away. They tore down the walls, and they burnt the temple. They marched the people of God away in chains.
The people turned back and they saw their burning city. They saw the smoke rising from their burning city and they wondered if they would ever see it again. Only a few remained. They had, they could sleep when the soldiers told them to sleep. And they had to get up when the soldiers told them to get up. They could eat only when the soldiers told them to eat. And they had to walk when the soldiers told them to. They could not go back to Jerusalem. They were in exile. They hung their harps on the branches of the willow trees by the river and they sang their very sad songs. They began to turn and face Jerusalem as they were praying. And then they began to realize that God was there too in this place. The king of Babylon let life go on as normal. Some of the people set up shops and life just went on. Everyone was surprised when the king of Persia came and took Babylon for himself. And this king let the people go back. Some of the people went back with the prophet Ezra. These people helped rebuild the temple. Some of the people went back with the prophet Nehemiah. And these people helped rebuild the walls of the city. But it was strange. Not everyone wanted to go back. They realized that God was here too. And they were no longer in exile. So I wonder, I wonder what part of the story you liked best. I wonder if there was any part of the story that you didn't like. I wonder if there was a part of the story that just didn't make sense to you. Or if there was a part of the story where you said, I understand that now. Sometimes that happens too. I wonder if there was any part of this story that we could leave out and still have everything we need to tell this story. The chain is not in the picture now, but it was part of the story too. I wonder if there was any part of this story that is especially about you. I wonder if there was anything 
that this story could tell us today. So much story, so much to wonder about. Please share any answers you have or any questions you have with me. I'd love to hear that. I'd love to know what you're wondering about. And I would love to see you again next week for another story. Bye for now, everyone. Take care. <laughs>